Today we're doing our first annual safety training um, for the Parks Department here at Long Lake Regional Park. Uh, the reason why we do this is we bring out all of our equipment that our full-time and seasonal staff will use and we want to make sure they're all trained on operating that equipment so it's a repeatable process and it's something that we can be consistent with. Any questions about anything? Uh, no. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Really good job, man. Thank you. Really good job. The big thing is being consistent and we want to make sure that, that we have a process that's in place. Um, where if I go to teach someone, it's going to be the exact same way that someone else would teach someone how to do it. So we make sure we can repeat that thing. Um, we go over it yearly, quarterly, um, as often as we need to to make changes, if there's changes to be made. And we just want to make sure when people show up to work that safety is on the forefront of their minds. Everyone goes through classroom training and every piece of equipment that they operate, starting from string trimmers, going to push mowers, to ride-on mowers, to tractors, we sit down and we have a tutorial that they have to watch, um, video on how to operate the equipment, how to maintain the equipment, and how to be safe around the equipment. Then we'd go from that setting to this setting, which is a more practical in the field setting on what they can expect and how to operate all those pieces of equipment. We'll do truck and trailer mower tie downs or equipment tie downs. We'll do some of our aerators and stand on mowers. We'll do our tractors, just kind of our, our standard basic equipment that we run on a daily basis. Safety for us is, is always the number one thing. Um, we want to make sure that not only are, is our staff safe when they're at, whether they're in the shop or out in the field, but also our community is safe when they're visiting our parks and our open space areas and, and our athletic fields. So safety is always first and foremost um, on the front of our minds. That's why we do a training like this. That's why we make sure that everyone is, is certified and qualified to operate the, the types of equipment we have, and that's why we go through this entire process.